all of us work so hard to be the best version of ourselves right all of us want to be those people who are trying so hard to reach our goals and everything yeah yeah thank you for watching thank you for sticking around thank you for watching the previous videos it means a lot to me thank you for commenting yeah now in today's video we're going to be doing this doing the seven changes that can improve or will improve your life yeah now, i know most of us be thinking we need to start big and change all those big big things which can be really 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 difficult so how about we start small with those very very small things that we do not pay so much attention to but are actually greatly affecting our lives yeah now the first thing that we are going to do i talked about this i talked about this and everyone is telling me oh my god social media social media yes stay away from social media like try to put your phone stay away from social media like i know so much happens but you we can both agree that social media can be unhealthy also try to put your phone in silent because i know it can be hard try start by putting your phone in silent you know sometimes it can be hard but you see you can start with just that put your phone on silent and you know on top of uh, silent and everything there's always that light like you know when a message comes in your you know in, in notifications and all those things try to lay it down like face down put your phone face down and try to do something out of you know the social media world or off your phone actually just be away from your phone for a while you see social media like we shall both agree to disagree it is unhealthy sometimes yeah on social media as well you find people who are you know doing all these things that <laughs> some of these things just make you feel less of you know of yourself you feel like you're not enough you feel like something is not right with me like if everyone out there is doing this why am i not doing this have you watched those challenges i tell you what challenge i tell this challenge and you can actually not do that challenge personally i've given away how do you react if you can't do these things it goes back to how you handle yourself if you're on social media all the time and you're handling yourself well it's not affecting you in any way good for you good for you no problem what we care about is that you are okay like it's not affecting you in any way it's not making you feel bad about yourself or less of yourself yeah all we are saying is do not let your phone control you do not let your phone push you around and make you do things see if you're like with family and everything have you met people who are out and you know you you've met you, you've like gone for a meet up with your friends and you're all on your phones what was the point of you guys coming together in the first place if all of you are going to be on the phone you would have had this meeting off the phone you know you're meeting up to like eat and everything but you all are on your phones i have seen this i have been to this place like we are there and we just can't talk to each other like everyone is on their phones like yo what's the point of us meeting in the first place if we are not going to be off our phones you see it's so small so small but it can actually improve your life you would be there thinking ah what's wrong with my phone anyway i can be on my phone all day yeah it's okay but if you must improve your life do not let your phone control you you control the phone tell yourself I i'm not going to be on the phone now people call you even late at 11 and you're picking up like you what's up so you so, so yeah what we're doing is put that phone down face down silent like if you don't need anyone bothering you or maybe you are failing just try try doing that and you'll be good to go that was change number one so change number two is keep your alarm a bit far away from you you see some of us sleep too much or we are i don't know they would call other people light sleepers and others are they heavy sleepers i don't know those people who sleep like so much so you need an alarm to actually wake you up have you woken up to an alarm before i personally personally have never set up an alarm in my life i swear like when i know i have to be up at five some of my body just like is working on that tune of at five she has to be up like that however have you woken up to an alarm before Banange, that noise can be too much you know like you, you you're literally scared out of your sleep like you what's up it cannot it, it, i don't think anyone wants to start their day like that and if we we are being honest with each other every time that alarm goes off you're hurrying to snooze so that you know you sleep a little longer and everything you know um if you're not going anywhere like if you don't have a place to be you don't have to be rushing anywhere just let the alarm be just leave the alarm wake up naturally 
you know weekends or probably you are working the night shift or just sleep sleep we both know that sleep is important for us although sleeping is also not good however you need to sleep yeah oversleeping is not good we both know but then even not sleeping enough is not good so just wake up naturally if you don't have a place to be you're not rushing and even if you have to wake up try to put that alarm a bit far away from yourself like you will hear it because the alarms be so loud trust me you will not miss it don't put it next to your side but you do not want to wake up like that it's scary as if someone is chasing you out of your sleep like yo get up it's okay set the alarm but let it be far away from you now by the time you wake up to go and stop it or whatever you actually awake like good awake you are not being kicked out of your bed as if you know something is coming for you yeah yeah so change number three change number three carry a bottle of water with you always yeah you know it is important that we hydrate like we all know this but i know people who actually hate drinking water i had a roommate before and she tell you rachel means a senior man's a gogali colorless the guy not test water i'm like what like who does not take water but it's important that we hydrate hydration literally helps your mood it helps your memory it helps you live like really you know we all need the water actually they'll tell you you can actually take it but jagaba take her come do all you know that drips and everything all those things you know also an auntie of mine actually told me rachel when you begin your day at least a glass or two of water eh it it will stop you from being what hungry faster faster like you know how you're hungry all the time and all those things when you start your day with a good glass of water you are actually good to go when i'm actually at school that's what i do wake up in the morning take my water and go i can go like up to 11 even lunch time by the way it is not healthy i'm not saying don't eat but it is important that you hydrate also when you carry when you carry the bottle of water with you it actually reminds you to drink the water so yes carry a bottle of water with you always yeah now change number four okay at this point if you're making sense of anything that i'm saying please consider subscribing and when you subscribe do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you are notified every time we upload a new video change number five keep a journal 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 depends on which primary school you went to <laughs> keep a journal and share your ideas yeah now often time we have those very many thoughts going on in our heads and maybe you don't have anyone to talk to uh for some people it's just so hard to actually talk about the things that are going on in your life you're probably stressed and there's some things that you just can't sit down with someone and tell them what is actually going on in your life that is where the journal comes in i for one kept a journal since my 2012 as a kids who used not to talk too much as a happy child do not quote me the other way but much peace putting my thoughts how i felt everything writing all those things down and trust me i have all those memories like i go back and laugh you know that slang that english of of children that english of oh my god oh, man be so sad so sad but i look at it and laugh like i look back at all those things i'm like okay this is interesting yeah so keep a journal put your things there your thoughts your ideas your resolutions your the things you believe in right the things that you're grateful for the challenges your plans you just have them down and you know it gets easier implementing some of those you know that dreams like if you have dreams i have dreams that i look i'm like oh my god i remember there's a year where my resolution was getting a smartphone <laughs> another one um excelling in my form six exams after joining university like i look at this and i'm like oh my god on top of everything like despite the fact that you, you're not talking to anyone it just it gives you something to look back to and smile about you know but when i'm feeling so down, i just look at that book i'm like oh man be my book you know i have things like like 2012 to 2021 actually like even when i have so many people to talk to now i still go back to that book and smile and laugh and it makes me happy actually research has found that those people who write like expressive writing and and you know putting your thoughts and ideas down is a good way to actually relieve and take off the negative thoughts and 
you know negative energy and everything and for me i found so much peace like i was not talking to so many people about my issues but this book loved me this book listened to me you know like you talk to you write like as though you're talking <laughs> as though you're talking to someone so yeah keep a journal share your ideas if you don't have so many people to talk to share your ideas with your book with your journal uh, a diary could be something else i don't keep a diary but a journal yes now and then change number six is replace the bad thoughts with good ones however you can only do this by acknowledging the bad ones now we have made so many mistakes growing up we've gone through very bad experiences we have been betrayed we have been you know so many wrong things happen and you have all these bad memories and thoughts and every time you think about these things you break down every time you think about that person who hurt you like oh my god <laughs> you know it's hard to move on from that place if you've actually not forgiven this person or even forgiven yourself there's some things that we do and you're like what i cannot believe i did this some things that happen to us and you know you you are kind of a catalyst and you're like oh my god why did i even do this for you to move on you're going to have to acknowledge hmm? that yes this happened the mistakes that we make often time we actually learn from these mistakes but you can only learn if you allow yourself to if you 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 block out the negativity that came with it you block out all the bad energy that comes with it and you're like you know what fine this happened have learned you're supposed to remember that feeling you know how something just goes so horribly wrong and you had something to do with it yeah that feeling remember that feeling remember that feeling and tell yourself i do not want to feel like this ever again yeah otherwise let us learn from our mistakes let us learn from those worst experiences let us let us not look at them like oh my god what the hell like why why me why what you know let's just learn from them and move on with our lives yeah now change number seven think before you react but the first thing you need to think about is whatever i'm about to say or do going to change the current scene is it going to make anything better or worse eh? often time we don't mind about the consequences of our actions we don't think about how the other person is going to feel now i know they've hurt you or they've said something really wrong something really hurtful and all but your reaction should make you the better person your reaction should make you the adult your reaction should make you the better person yeah so before you react or do anything that is going to make the situation even worse you know every time you say something eh, there are some things that you just can't take back i said one edge and an opportunity a missed opportunity once this you have these have gone or passed that's it so we need to be careful the things we do the things we say yeah regardless of the fact that someone has hurt you or said something really hurtful or wrong what you say could change your life or their life forever or ruin this relationship or friendship forever so let us think before we react let us try to put all the things i just mentioned above into action small small steps baby baby steps you don't have to rush into the big things oh my god i'm going to stop doing this all that all that that's small with that is that with the very very small things and yeah for more videos like these feel free to tap the notification bell it's right next to the subscribe one every time we upload you will be notified this is as much time as we had for this video thank you for sticking around till the end we love you stay safe bye Oh my god, wow. <laughs>